Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Rogue. I started a new character already, and we just killed our first Kestrel. I know it looks a bit different today, notably the colors are completely inverted from last time. I'm using a different terminal emulator to see if it records better. I'm not really convinced that it will, but I'm hoping. Also trying to record with slightly higher settings because the game isn't nearly as intensive as Dwarf Fortress was, so I think the computer can maybe handle it this time. So hopefully it doesn't have quite as much of a choppiness as the last episode did. Secret? No secret? Really? That's disappointing. I'm also trying to record the um, window differently. Rather than recording the entire window, I'm just recording part of it. So hopefully that doesn't screw things up. It should make it look a bit cleaner, I think. I don't even know if these scrolls are meant to be pronounceable. I'm guessing no, but you never know. So yeah, hopefully this looks a bit better than the last one did. Um, Kestrel, please stop killing me. Um, I don't know why you can't go diagonally through doors. That's just really awkward. Good, we killed it. It didn't kill us, but yeah, like, Hobgoblin. This is a tough first floor, actually. <laughs> Might not make it off of this floor at this rate. But yeah, if I stand here and press to go to this tile here, which is a door, I can't do it. Won't let me. I have to actually walk horizontally, like north, south, east, west directions to go through a door, which I don't really understand. Okay, we found the stairs. Ooh. Uh, D? Yeah. Go towards the castle, E. Hit the Kestrel. Nice. Killed the Kestrel. And died? What? Oh, there was a hobgoblin behind me and I didn't notice it. Well, I'm stupid. Next character. Speaking of hobgoblins right behind me. Hello. It's hard for me to see with this setup, actually. And that hobgoblin almost killed me, so I'm taking a nap. Which basically just means holding the wait button until we die. Okay. Well, that was... Let's not talk about that. I really should start paying attention, apparently, because I'm getting my ass beat on the first fucking floor. You can't go diagonally in the hallways either. Like here, I can't just go from this tile to that one. I have to go over, down, down. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, I'm going to equip the short bow for now because there seem to be a lot of hobgoblins and I apparently can't fight them head on quite well. Food, potion, potion, stuff. This is a nice room. Nothing tried to murder me. I like rooms that don't try to murder me. Secret? Looks like a dead end, but there might be a secret anyway. Does not appear to be a secret. It's down here then. A bat. Um. <sighs> Is it B? 
I don't remember. Let's see. Okay, let's go bludgeon a bat. Or die trying, as the case may be. Hello, emu. More arrows. Definitely not a problem. Shot the Kestrel and killed it. Yeah, the bow is probably your best weapon early on, to be honest, but I tend not to use it anyway because, well, we've been over this. I'm stupid. Also, I just like the melee combat better. It's more fun for me. But, ooh. That's a bad room. Um, what? Switch weapons and bash and miss and bash. Miss, bash, kill. Um, um, this is a problem. It's a pretty serious problem, actually. Yeah. This is going very poorly today. This is not uncommon now. Um, D. Throw. In, yeah, um, in original Rogue, throw and shoot are basically the same thing. Which is why it says I'm throwing arrows if you're actually paying attention to that. Which I can understand. Like, if you already built a throwing mechanic, you might as well leave it alone and just copy it over for the shooting mechanic. If I were to write a roguelike, which I'm actually seriously considering because I like them so much, and I know a little bit about programming, so I could probably manage it, give it enough time. Please hit the bat. Thank you. So if given enough time, I could probably manage to make a functioning roguelike. But if I did, I'd probably do the same thing, keeping throw and shoot basically the same. I might rename it, but that's about the extent of it. But it's basically the same thing. Um, silver wand, ooh. Wow, a wand on level 1? That's odd. I almost never see those in a playthrough, let alone this early. I wonder what it does. Um, zap. And zap is how you use a wand. Gee. Zap you. Ha! It worked! Does that consumer wand? No. Okay. Gold potion. Kestrel. Healed Kestrel. Yes. Okay. This is going slightly less badly. I like when things go slightly less badly. And level 2. 12 gold. We are getting quite a bit of gold in this run. It's only level 2 and we've already got over 200. Not that that means all that much, mind, but it's still nice. Do a dark room. Very dark room. Yeah, the only difference between a dark room and a lit room is how far is your like range of sight, basically. Everything else is the same. If you're wondering why I'm like stopping every other tile, it's because I'm searching, because usually dark rooms have something in them, 
Well, not usually, but sometimes. More often than lit rooms do. And shoot a snake. Because that's not overkill at all. I don't think that one was even poisonous, but... I'm just trying to not die immediately this time because, well, well, it's funny to do once in a while. I would like to have something to upload. Please hit the help goblin. Alright, last spell. And mace. Excellent hit if you hit it. Good. I like that you can pick up your arrows again too. Well, the misses anyway. I don't think you can get back arrows that actually connected. If you can, I don't know how to. Um. Thank you. There should be a secret door around here, I think. There it is. That was pointless. I just wanted to find it because it was annoying me. Some of the secrets aren't very well hidden. Ooh, one shot hobgoblin. And another one. Okay. Well, as much fun as I'm having murdering hobgoblins, I think it's time to go. Rattlesnake. Um, are you sleeping? No, you're not sleeping, because that would be too easy. Enemies do sleep in this game, and... Oof. Yeah, we just lost some strength. And we lost more. And we lost more. And we killed it. But our strength is very low now. Because poison. So anyway, sleeping enemies will just not move unless you step into the square right next to them. Or the tile right next to them, rather. Stead leather. I don't think that's better than what we've got. Ice monster. Scroll. Um. Hmm. We have some potions, don't we? We have a potion. Never mind. We have two silver wands, though. Should keep that in mind. Huh. And two scrolls titled Eshnik, Snick, Larg, or Becquerel. Let's read one. Mace glows blue. I don't remember what that does, so. But. Really? I can't. Yeah, I can't, like. Why is delete J? I don't understand that. Whatever. I'm sticking with it, because I don't know how to backspace. Apparently. Ooh, another rattlesnake. I think when your weapon glows blue, it means it does more damage or something. I'm not quite sure. Wield, D, throw, arrow, kestrel. Throw. But yeah, using, um, what? No. Thank you. Hit the wrong button, I guess. Yeah, I must have. Plaid potion. How do you make a potion plaid exactly? Oh, you're already awake and chasing us. Might as well smack you in the face with a mace. More scrolls. I'm not gonna read. Shit, I didn't mean to run face first into a rattlesnake. I don't like when I trip over snakes like that. Especially poisonous snakes that suck the strength out of you. It's not fun. Um, oh, I should eat. Oh, good, the food tastes awful. Now, I'm not being sarcastic, that actually is a good thing. Because when the food tastes awful, there's clearly a door there. When the food tastes awful, you actually gain one point of experience from it. Not that that's a lot or anything, but it's something. 
Um, really? Is that it? I guess so. Hobgoblin should not be an issue. Why is this hobgoblin being an issue? Thank you. Kill the fucking hobgoblin. Damn. Alright, let's um wait around here for a bit to heal. That didn't really help anything. Uh we have a ply potion. Let's try it. That didn't really help us at all. Let's go down a level. Um, CR wands are G and I, so zap that direction with G, zap that direction with G. I'm too weak to use it. Um, shit. Uh, yeah, we got killed by an emo. Um, there. Alright, one more character and then I'm gonna call it an episode. This is not going very well today. Uh, that's what I get for helping roguelikes, I suppose. Every now and then, I'm probably more often than not, actually, I'm gonna have an episode that's just me dying a bunch of times to stupid things like hobgoblins. Hello, Kestrel. Where did you come from? Die, please. Thank you. Yeah, see, this is a sleeping enemy. It's a bat. And the nice thing about sleeping enemies is you can kill them while they're sleeping and get experience without without um risking your health or anything like that. Rosewood staff. Can you use apple staff? I don't remember. I think that's only with wands. Um, it transformed it into a C, but I don't know what a C is. Is it? Where is it to look around? No. I know there's a look around command, I just don't know what it is right now. I just can't remember. Well, centaur. Oh, we're pretty fucked. Uh, sap, staff, pork. That's more manageable, but we're still probably gonna die. Yeah. So that was a bad staff because, you know, it killed us. Anyway, that's all for right now. See you folks. Bye.